Hi, Andrea here, and I'm going to present um, the our yoga practice in a chair. So I'm sitting in a chair that maybe is not unlike a chair that you might sit in that might have arms. I'm playing with my headset. Okay, great. Um, so when we come into practice, the first thing we want to do is really to bring our attention from the exterior world into our interior world. And one of the best ways to do that is to sit comfortably, sit up tall and straight, but comfortably. Um, I'm in a coolish room, so I do have a nice sweater on, so you want to be warm and cozy. And we're going to just start by sitting and you've got options. You can leave your eyes open if that's more comfortable for you, or you can flutter your eyes closed and just use your breath as a technique to bring your attention into your interior space, into the inside of your body. So nice, soft inhalations and exhalations. And as you go, see if you can deepen your inhalation, deepen your exhalation. So you feel some movement in your rib cage on the inhalation, diaphragmatic breathing, so your ribs inhale a little bit on the inhalation, they come back in on the exhalation. You can start to feel some action. The stomach muscles on the exhalation, they draw in on the exhalation. They float out on the inhalation. You just want to be with your breath. As long as it takes to just come into your interior space and focus. I would say it would be at least three complete cycles of breath. Could easily be five or more cycles of breath to bring you into that focus. Okay, great. So the next thing we wanna do is just get a little bit of movement. So uh, in the other practice, this is the moment we do bridge pose, but for us in our chairs, why don't we just do this? I'm gonna just straighten the leg, put my foot back down, straighten, and that, and that's all I'm gonna do. Just alternate, stretching my leg a little bit, bring it down, maybe I, maybe I only stretch it down low, that's okay too, maybe I stretch it down low, whatever works for you, just some amount of leg stretch here. And this is our replacement for bridge pose. All right, next is cat and cow, and I did demonstrate this seated, but I'll demonstrate it again. So it's very gentle. I'm gonna inhale, let my belly fill up, and I'm gonna look up when I inhale and let my shoulders open up on the inhalation. When I exhale, I'm gonna crunch everything and drawing my stomach muscles in and hunching my shoulders forward and dropping my head. I'll show it to you from a couple of different angles. Inhale and exhale. That's cat and cow. I'll, let me turn in my chair. Maybe this will be a little bit clearer. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to exhale. Inhale and exhale. And you can keep doing that very gently in your comfortable chair. With all of this, you can take the time that you want to take. You can do a slightly longer practice. You can do a slightly shorter practice. So I'd say at least five or six of these, and you certainly could be comfortable doing more. It's a beautiful gesture, and it's a nice way to warm the body up. 
All right, coming to the end of our cats and our cows. Um, so the half sun salutation, and I, I demonstrated this standing, so you saw that. I'm going to inhale my arms up. I'm going to exhale and forward fold. So I'm coming forward. If I can do this in my chair, if I'm not comfortable, then don't do it. I'm going to inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. And then I'm going to inhale and come all the way up and exhale my hands in front of my heart. Okay, if that's working for you, we're gonna do three. Inhale, exhale, inhale halfway up, exhale, inhale all the way up, exhale hands in front of my heart. And one more time, I'll inhale and exhale, inhale halfway up, and exhale, inhale all the way up, and exhale. So we did three. You can do a little bit more. Um, if you see the video for the mat class, you'll see that we did then went on to full sun salutations. Uh, but you're fine doing your half sun salutations in your chair. Very good. All right, good. Now let's take a stretch. I'm going to leave. I'm not mirroring you. I'm leaving my right arm down. I'm going to reach my left arm up. And I want to take a stretch. So this hand is kind of sliding down my leg or sliding down towards the floor. And I'm stretching the left side of my body. And I want to leave my left hip down. I don't want to reach up in my left hip. I want to leave my left hip down and reach. And then inhale up and switch. My left arm comes down. My right arm goes up. And I'm going to leave my right hip down and stretch over. And inhale up. Beautiful. I'm going to try to stop the sound machines. I thought I had stopped the sound, machine, the sound machines, but I hadn't. All right, great. <laughs> um, side stretch. Okay, good. So now I was showing you downward facing dog is a pose that's, you know, done fully on the mat. Um, and there's not a version to do seated exactly. But something that I can do if I want to, but I do not have to, so it's only if I want to, is I can put my hands on the, the, the chair and come down like this. Okay, hopefully you can see a good enough version of that. Let me see if there's a better view of that. So I'm putting my hands on the chair and, and, I'm, and I'm over like this. So if I'm comfortable, I can do that. But if I'm not comfortable getting up out of the chair, then skip it. OK, so that's an option if you're comfortable. But otherwise, we're going to skip it. OK, good. Sorry, things are making noise that I don't want to make noise. OK, good. now. Um, but the next thing is what we call the standing series when we're standing up from the mat, but also good to be done uh, in my chair, perfectly done to do it in my chair. So the first one is warrior two, okay? So I'm gonna reach my arms up and stretch my arms out in a T, right? And then I'm gonna just look out over, this is my right hand, I'm looking out over my right hand. And I'm gonna inhale here. Then I'm gonna exhale and I'm gonna drop my left arm and reach my right arm up and I'm looking up at my right arm, which also gives me a nice side stretch here. I'm going to inhale, my arms come up, and now I'm going to exhale into what we call triangle. So I'm dropping my right arm and reaching my left arm up and keeping my torso really elevated over to the side. So nice core work here. Inhale, my arms up. Exhale once again for reverse. And then inhale, my arms up. Let's come into warrior two one more time. And then I can relax my arms down. That was side one. Okay, side two. I'm going to inhale my arms up, come into warrior two, side two. So my shoulders really stay down and relaxed. Good posture. Inhale here. Exhale. Reverse. I like to look up at my hand. Inhale, my arms come up. I'm coming over into triangle. So I'm really lifting my upper body up and over, coming over into triangle. And breathe here. And then inhale up, exhale back into reverse. 
and inhale back up into warrior two and then relax great so you have options here you can do that once you could do it two or three times right so that depending on how you feel on your practice day you could spend more time doing that that series warrior two to reverse warrior to triangle back to reverse and then back to warrior two on each side okay good that's great the next one is tree pose and if i'm completely seated i can see if i can lift my foot and put it against my other leg and that would be tree pose just sort of seeing if lifting my leg like this is okay or i could put my leg up here if i'm able to do that either one like that okay and if i wanted to see if i could balance i could stand up and you see part of me i could stand up and put and and, and place my hand on the chair or on something this is a better surface for me to place my hand and i could try doing this standing up if i feel secure and i can hold on to a chair where i feel really secure um i could do it that way but perfectly fine and easy and fine to do it either here or here on one side and then i would do it here or here on the other side if that works for you right so see if there's a tree version that works for you and if it doesn't that's okay too um the next thing that we did in the full class uh, on the mat is chair pose um which is when we sort of stand and come into a chair pose but we're in a chair and we're in chair pose and that's perfectly fine okay so we can have a break where we just have some inhalations and exhalations here and kind of using our core muscles to inhale and exhale. All right, good. Now we're going to take a seated twist. I'm going to inhale my arms up. I'm going to exhale. I'm turning to the right. I'm putting my left hand on my right knee and dropping my right hand behind me on my on my chair back. And I'm just turning a little bit to the right. And this is a nice twist. It's very nice for our spine and it's very nice for our organs as well to come into this twist and breathe here. And inhale my arms up and exhale, come the other way, same thing and breathe here. and inhale back to center and um that is the, the the sort of meaty part of the practice and the last thing i want to do is savasana and savasana is coming into stillness and so maybe i'm going to sit back a little more firmly in my chair and my feet are on the ground if that's comfortable for me if i wanted to sit cross-legged i could I could do that too, if that's comfortable for me, but I can keep my feet on the ground and I'm going to flutter my eyes closed. And as I did in the beginning, I'm gonna bring my attention into my interior space. My hands can be together, my hands can be on my knees, palms down or palms up, whatever I prefer. I want to come into the stillness of my interior space. I want to notice how my body feels now after my practice. Do I notice any particular sensations? Do I notice any places where I feel like I did some work? Notice what feels good. Notice what feels a little challenge. Just notice in your interior space. And continue focusing on your breath. And we'll come into silence. 
Good to stay here for five or ten minutes or so. You can decide how long you want to be here. Just enjoying the stillness. And then needing to do nothingness and the presence in your body will be still and quiet for a few moments. And when you're home, you can stay as long as you want in this meditative savasana position. When you want to come out of it, you can deepen your breath. A little wake-up call, just a little deepening of the breath. And then I kind of wiggle my fingers and my toes a little bit. I can let that grow into some stretching. Flutter my eyes open and maybe sit for another moment and just kind of enjoy the quiet that has been created. And then go on about your day as you wish. You might like to do this practice in the morning. You might like to do this practice in the evening. And see how, how it appeals to you. And let me know if you have questions. Thank you.